Hey everybody, welcome to Mortgage Today for Wednesday, August 7th, 2024, and oh, what a day it was. As we turn to looking at the 5.5 coupon on the UMBS, they opened up the day up three basis points, at least it's green. The Bank of Japan hiked interest rates on July 31st, which triggered a violent sell-off in the Nikkei 225 stock market index. Overnight, the BOJ walked back talk of further rate hikes while markets are unstable. Japanese stocks like the message, and that pushed stocks higher bonds are selling off early on a flight to safety trade bonds were selling off as the flight to safety trade unwinds itself a little since 1955 the fed has unwound 86 percent on average of the prior rate hikes during the ensuing rate easing cycle that we are probably entering into this means the fed fund rate bottoms out at 0.75 percent the smallest historical reversal would suggest that the fed fund hits 2.25 percent yet the market is now expecting the fed funds rate trough to be three 3.25%, which means we probably have way more easing to come than we currently expect. We also had a 10-year auction today that came in at 3.96 versus a 3.93 expectation, which is quite different. Bid to cover came in at 2.32 versus a 2.49x previous. Bonds had been drifting into weaker territory for most of the day, although there was a modest rally in the hour leading up to the auction. Very little transpired during today's trading session to change the outlook in the morning commentary uh, with the violent with the volatility associated with Monday's market shock out of the way, the week increasingly looks like the kind of token bond market crit with the volatility associated with Monday's market shock out of the way this week's increasingly this week increasingly looks like the kind of token bond market can the kind of token the kind of token bond market correction consolidation that frequently plays out on a relatively data free week that follows a strong rally and that precedes the significant event next week's cpi this correction might have been more obvious at the start of the week had it not been for the global market shock associated with the yen carry trade and wind had it not been for the global market shock associated with the yen carry trade unwind. As of today, it progressed far enough that we can begin to ask if we've seen enough for things to calm down. UMBS closed the day down four basis points at 100.43. 100.43 puts us back down in this range that we've kind of been bouncing around in. We broke out, but then now it's coming back in. So it's on the upper end of the range bounded by the Fibonacci line at 100.61 and a floor at 99. We also got news that United Wholesale Mortgage reported second quarter earnings. Origination volume rose 5.6% year over year to $33.6 billion. Gain on sale margin rose to 106 basis points compared to 88 basis points a year ago. The company has been unloading its MSR portfolio, particularly the high coupon MSRs. Given the more aggressive forecast of Fed rate cutting, MSR valuations will probably take a hit. But also check out a post from our sponsor. Well, that makes sense.com. This is from the Yeah But series. So this is all about whether or not the bad guy, bad corporations are buying up all the houses and ruining everything. And uh, whether or not that's a good thing, whether or not it's a bad thing, should we create a law to stop them? Uh, let's talk about it a little bit at well, that makes sense.com.